Hello everyone, Sanket here. Proteomics. Proteomics was coined in 1994 by an Australian scientist called as Mark Williams. It was later in 2010 where the actual Human Proteome Project started. Human Proteome Project is a collaborative effort coordinated by a human proteome organization. Its stated to uh, its basically stated goal is to experimentally observe all the proteins um, which are there in your body, and uh, all of these proteins which are produced by the sequences that are translated from your uh, human genome. So your human proteome and your human genome are actually uh, moving side by side. As per your uh, March 2020. About 89% or 17,694 proteins have already been analyzed by the Human Proteome Project. Like your Human Genome Project, Human Proteome Project involves a number of countries being working on this. The data here is being analyzed, uh, supervised uh, and worked on uh, by uh, US, Switzerland, um, and uh, the data is being analyzed by MassPEC and the computational studies is being carried out as um, SIB that is a, a Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. So what exactly is a proteum? Uh, proteum as the name suggests is nothing but your study of the entire con uh, your entire protein content. Okay. So when I'm saying your entire protein content, it means actually your protein localization, your protein interactions and also your post translational modification. So all of these three aspects are covered in your proteomics. So what does this word proteomics stands for? So you can see this proteo and there is um, ohm which is there. So proteome stands for protein complement of a genome. Okay. So this is from where this proteome word was derived that is protein complement of a genome. Now there is a difference between protein chemistry and proteomics. So both of these are completely different. If I'm talking about protein uh, chemistry, I'm actually talking about an individual protein. So when I want to carry out analysis of uh, individual sets of proteins, I can what I'm actually doing is your protein chemistry. If I want to understand what are the protein-protein interactions, what are the interface regions of protein-protein interactions, how your PPIs, okay, uh, or how your protein complexes uh, behave in a, a metabolic pathway, then I'm talking about proteomics. Your protein chemistry uh, deals with your complete sequence analysis. Whereas your proteomics deals with a partial sequence analysis. Protein chemistry has an entire emphasis on the structure and the function. So it's more of, as they say, it's a more of a structural biology. That means your molecular modeling, okay, it can be a part of your protein chemistry. So your docking, uh, molecular dynamics, okay, all of these are a part of your structural biology how a protein conformation should be, what are um, the different amino acids which are present inside the protein, how do they interact with each other, what are the various energetics which is involved when I'm talking about a protein. So all of this is a part of your uh, protein chemistry or it's a part of your structural biology. When we are talking about proteomics, the emphasis in, is more on the identification by database matching which involves basically your systems biology so as i said your signaling pathways your um, uh, metabolic pathways okay um, so systematic arrangement or systematic analysis of your ppis or your protein protein interactions um, i should not say protein protein interactions because when i'm talking about protein complex we can have a uh, protein DNA interaction, uh, we can have a protein um, RNA interaction, we can have a protein protein interaction. 
So a protein complex can be all of this and your proteomics deals with the interaction of proteins with any of these things. So all of these are nothing but comprised or a part of your system's biology. So hopefully you understood what is the difference between protein chemistry and proteomics. Now the question is that why we actually need to carry out proteomic analysis. Okay. Uh, we already have, so you must be wondering, we already have mRNA and gene expression microarrays. Now what are these microarrays? They help us to find out the, uh, they help us to analyze uh, whether your mRNA or your genes, uh, how are they um, present in the sequence? Uh, are they activating? Are they uh, uh, carrying out inactivation? So how is their expression actually working? So basically you can understand what is the entire um, what should I say you can understand how an entire um, 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 sequence is going to function okay or how your um, uh, of how your genes are going to function just by carrying out your basic mRNA or gene expression also protein is derived from uh, your mRNA so even if you study mRNA it's indirectly nothing but uh, studying your protein so um, why not just do mrna or GX gene expression and stop it but there are a few things like level of the corresponding proteins okay post translation modifications and your protein regulations these things cannot be performed by your mrna or your gene expression they can only be performed by your protein expression assays and if your protein microarray or protein expression arrays, because they can analyze your post transition modifications, how their interaction is with the corresponding proteins, and how a protein regulates in the entire uh, pathway or in the entire system, that is why, okay, um, uh, this is very unique to protein expression. That's the reason we need to actually study proteomics. So finally, the question comes is what are the various applications of proteomics? Your proteomics, okay, or your protein um, tells us what is the various protein functions. So by carrying out proteomics, you can understand a protein function. You can understand a protein structure. You can understand a protein interaction, which I was uh, talking in your proteomics thing. You can understand the drug discovery, so how your protein and drug, how they interact with each other. Uh, when you're carrying out drug discovery or development, it's very essential to understand which your target protein is or your receptor is. So that could be understood. So with the help of proteomics, you can carry out drug discovery. Protein functions, okay. Uh, what are the various functions of the proteins? Uh, that could be understood by proteomics protein modification and protein expression. So this is what is proteomics. This is the reason why we should be carrying out proteomics. And now what you see in front of you are your various applications of proteomics. Thank you. Bye-bye.